Thank you. Thank you very much, Scott, and uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to support the demonstration here today. I should say at the beginning that uh, Frank Please, who is the transportation critic for the opposition party, is away today and he's asked me to stand in. Now, I'm not unfamiliar with this issue, but uh, I appreciate the remarks by Jack, uh, your passion and your, your drive to, to make the road safer. I think it's supported by everything that Jim Park said. Jim and his information and the research that has been ignored, in fact, some say suppressed during the public hearings on this. And we've heard other concerns about the, the risk to privacy, uh, as well as the uh, technology debate that was brought up by Bud. Now, the reason I say that, there are two other bills on the Highway Traffic Act that are before the legislature now. In fact, there were hearings earlier this year. One was dealing with technology in the car, uh, which included cell phones and other devices. And the other was to deal with the graduated licensing system, which was prohibiting uh, young people uh, from driving. And it's kind of an urban-focused bill. It's certainly not going to help people in my riding of Durham. Now, when this bill was brought up, our position was that the timing couldn't be worse. Right now, what's the number one issue? It's the economy. And what is this bill? It's having less competition in the economy. That's really what it ultimately is doing. Absolutely. It's tipping the balance. Absolutely. Now, as a person that commutes here every day from Durham, I can tell you that I can see what has been described here, probably most accurately by Jack, coming in from Durham, if you have trucks driving 105 and somebody's trying to pass, there's going to be more gridlock. In fact, it could be argued you're going to make the roads less safe. In fact, I drove to Ottawa last week, and it was the same thing. When you get in that, that sort of the eastbound uh, strip on the 401, certainly between uh, sort of Belleville and en route to Ottawa, 417, if they're out there stuck in that outside lane, you're euchre. And that's when people get frustrated and do stupid things. So I, I suspect that uh, your call here today and your petition is to get the government to listen. The bill has a six month waiting provision, so it won't come into effect until June as far as fines. But I'm happy to see that Cam Woolley is here today. I, uh, when he was with the OPP, he would have suggested some practical solutions. I think the demonstration here and the media's role today is to say, to ask the question, is this really going to make the road safer? And is it going to be consistent? Because right now, as I understand it, this is giving permission to people to break the speed limit. Absolutely. Because it's posted at 100 kilometers an hour Absolutely. the last time I looked. And I think that really the main argument is, what is the limit for cars? Is it 115? Are we officially saying that now the speed limit is something over 100 and something less than 150? That, that's the, what they're saying. It's doing anything but making the roads safer. And Frank Clee's record and our government's record is to make the roads safe and have one rule for all. Good luck with your protest and we'll be there to support and to listen. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Thank you.